Hey guys, it's Moo, and welcome to OP Quickie, where I try to teach you a champ in under three and a half. For this video, it's Kennen. Let's get into it. Kennen is a ranged AP top laner with lots of bully potential, great team fighting, and he scales very well. Let's go over his abilities. Kennen's passive is, if he lands three procs from his abilities, he will stun an enemy. The duration of the stun will be shorter if you recently stun them. His Q is, he throws a shuriken out in a line, dealing damage to the first enemy hit. W gives you an empowered auto attack every five auto attacks, and when you have a passive mark on the enemy, you can activate your W to deal damage and land another mark. Kennen's E gives him movement speed, armor, and magic resist. You can't auto attack while in your E, but you can still use abilities and you ignore minion collision. You get attack speed after you exit the E. Kennen's R is a big storm that deals damage to everyone in it in multiple stacks and deals more damage the longer the enemy is in the storm. Most of the time, Keystone on Kennen is Kleptomancy. Use it to enhance your income and get your item spikes as quickly as possible. Follow it with free boots, dematerializer, and cosmic insight for the same reasons. Domination second with Taste for Blood and Ravenous Hunter is often taken as secondary. You can change to Air with these runes if you want to harass more, or phase rush if you are against a ranged champion. My build path is usually pretty similar every game. Start Dorn's Blade and build into Hextech Protobelt. Then get Sork Shoes and Morellonomicon for maximum pen to shred squishies. After that I'll usually get Azanias because it pairs super well with your ult for stalling and delaying. Spellbinder, Deathcap, Leandri's Banshees and Void Staff are all super common and will depend on which suits your game. You'll pretty much always want to build full AP on Cannon. Cannon isn't great with defensive items, so look to stack that damage. There isn't really a consensus amongst pros for which ability should be maxed first, second, or third, so it would often be matchup or preference dependent. I usually max W for damage, followed by E for utility, and Q last. No matter which order you max it in, it should work. Just make sure to play around the strengths of your abilities. Level 1, you want to level E or Q, and then level up whichever abilities you need next. Similarly, there is not much of a consensus here either. You'll want to play lane fairly aggressively. Look to contest CS and get a lead on your opponent. Jumping in and out of the brush top lane allows you to drop creep aggro when harassing your opponent. It can be difficult to kill your opponent if they are tanky unless they make a very big mistake, so coming out of lane with a CS and plate advantage is not a bad thing. Matchups with squishy champions can be quite volatile, but you can use your E to take less damage and escape. These are the sorts of lanes that you can prioritize kills in. Kennen's 2v2 is also great, especially post level 6 because of your AoE damage. You can pretty much blind pick Kennen as he does best into tanks and bruisers, which is most of what top lane consists of. His hardest matchups will be ranged matchups or assassins that can easily all in you and stick to you, such as Jace or Rengar. Team fighting on Kennen is great with his ultimate. Look for flanks for when your opponent is clumped up and deal massive amounts of damage. You can engage fights, but you don't have to. Waiting for the enemy to clump up is the best way to get mileage out of Kennen. For your full team fight combo, you want to E, ult, flash, proto belt, and W for max damage, using Zhonya's whenever you need to. The most important thing is to ult before you flash in. It gives the enemy less time to react and gives you a stronger chance of stunning and killing all the enemies. The best time to look for a fight is when your flash and your ultimate is up. So whenever those two spells are up together, look to force a fight. And we're done with a few seconds to spare. Thanks for watching the video and let me know what you think of the format down below. See you all next time.